So today we are following a bunch of locals through uh, the whole way of Kygos. That, that can be right. The whole way of Kygos. What? All right. Today is a true New Zealand story. When we arrived in Opotiki, we met the owner of the Royal Opotiki Backpacker and he introduced us to his mate Grant that has a few canoes and said that he wanted to go down the Waioka River. So we simply asked, hey mate, can we join you? And he said, of course. All right guys, we have helmets for everybody, but they are optional in this trip. As you can see, it's a pretty unofficial tour, but he's taking his stuff really seriously and getting us to do a few bonding exercises. <laughs> Left, right. Left, <laughs> right, left, right, I knew it. <laughs> nice wow. catch. Shit, <laughs> can we do it? Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Can we keep? Okay, and Ooh. down we come. Oh my God. Now you're there. What's the meaning of this? Okay, okay. Now paddles. <laughs> Yeah, I do have to tell so that's you. greeting Australia. in New Zealand? That's how <laughs> you say hi in the morning at work? After those bonding exercises that got way too intimate, we can finally jump into our canoes and start making our way down the absolutely stunning Waiaweka River. Already the scenery is outstanding and the sun is out, so we need to take off a few layers because this is going to be some pretty hard work paddling these canoes but we are surrounded by this Jurassic like landscape with all these native trees and towering mountains around us. Grant and his partner Dido are taking the lead showing us which lines to take off the river and we basically just follow them through the safest passage of the Waioweka Gorge. While Robin and I have done quite a few kayaking tours now, paddling a Canadian canoe is a lot different and a lot of fun as well. We are really having a bountiful time with our fellow tour goers, but it also tests our communication. You really need to be able to communicate if you are two people paddling on a canoe. Yeah, so basically there's a lot of communication involved and if you don't communicate very well, you end up in the bushes, which definitely happened to Laura and I quite a few times. But Grant and his partner Dido have a lot of tips and insight about using the canoe and they also know the gorge like the back of their hands. So they always show us a lot of really fun places that to check out. There is plenty of rapids which are really cool and rather hard to maneuver. And it's just an overall amazing experience. It's quite rare that you get to actually experience places with the locals. But about halfway through the trip, we are stopping our trip. We are getting out of the canoe and we are making camp. We are not going to be staying here for the night, but we are staying here for lunch. We did kind of a little potluck, which means that everybody brings something to share with everyone uh, because we are on the budget and we have a camper van. We actually didn't bake anything. We actually went to buy a couple of cakes. I have to be honest, that is not the best cake ever and that is not the best presentation ever when trying to cut it with a spoon. And Nora is the first one to complain. <laughs> the dry bit on the bottom, thank you. <laughs> It's days like this that just make you want to stay in New Zealand forever. When you see what sort of stuff the locals get up to on their days off, it's really awesome. And if you haven't figured out already, New Zealand is a super outdoorsy country and the locals often do have awesome gear to take you to awesome places. However, if you don't have access to canoes, there's plenty of other things that you can be doing along the Waioweka River and the Waioweka River Gorge. As you saw the other day, we actually took a road trip through the Waioweka Gorge and there's loads of different walks that you can be doing. Amongst the Toranga Bridge Walk, there's also another bridge walk called the Little Manganuku Track. And there's plenty more, which we list in our 15 Opotiki walks that you can't miss, which we'll link up in the description below. By this part of the trip though, we are getting a lot more confident on our canoes and we're splashing each other and just being a nuisance to everyone. But at this point also, Grant is showing us a few more of the hidden gems of the Waioweka River. For instance, we find a little waterfall which is perfect to actually go and bathe in the plunge pool. Kiwis are absolutely crazy and they do not shy away at the chance to jump into a freezing cold plunge pool of a waterfall. But luckily there are plenty of ways to warm back up again, which is getting back into our canoe and getting to the end of this awesome Waioweka River Gorge journey. 
One of the really interesting things about the Waiyoko Ghost is that it's really reminiscent to the Fanganui journey, which is one of the 10 New Zealand Great Walk. In fact, the only one of the 10 New Zealand Great Walk, which is not a walk but more of a canoe trip. And the canoe that we are currently using were used on the Fanganui journey a few years ago before Grant bought them. So although we didn't get to do the Fanganui journey, we kind of did! That's the way out Kagosh for you guys. No, I'm joking, we're still gonna try to go there. We have some time around the area a little bit later on in our trip, so fingers crossed we'll get to the Fanganui at some point. But just enough time for us to wrap up and get ourselves ready for our next adventure tomorrow. There was a couple of travelers that were seeking and looking hard and long, and long and hard for the ultimate answer. What is the best New Zealand attraction? The adventures and endeavor will bring them to... Uh, Upper Dickie. Upper Dickie. <laughs>